Joe with Joe Lee Farms. I'm in the middle of pole bean madness here. So we're out here this morning in our greenhouse. We've got to pick some pole beans. We've let them go a couple days and that is a problem. I'm going to give you some tips today about what not to do. So as I'm picking here, I'm going to show you this. That bean got too big. So that's going to be tough and stringy. And so that's not a good size. The other thing that happens when you let them get too big, they send out a little signal to the plant that says, okay, I'm going to go to seed because of the size. So I'm going to put all my energy into growing seeds in this one, and it doesn't put on any more beans. So that's never a good thing to let that happen. So when I pick these beans, I like to get them up in here and use my fingernails um, to pull them off. And one of the reasons is, now you notice I got a little bit of stem right there. So that's what I like to leave on there. One of the reasons is if you just rip these off, I'm going to show you a picture of this, you cause damage to the stem and the other beans on that stem are not going to reach maturity. And so the example I put in the picture here is perfect. You see those beans have um, dried and on the vine and they're really not any good anymore. They never reach size. So you want to be gentle with these. Another reason you want to be gentle is um, if there's still blossoms, you're going to be knocking off blossoms that will not produce a bean. And so that's not a good thing either. So you want to make sure that you absolutely take care when you're picking these. Don't be too rough. You go ripping them off the vine, then you're going to have problems. So I want to show you the difference between these two beans. This one's still not too terribly big. It's still okay. Now you notice this one's shorter. But see how he's fattening out at the bottom? He's not going to get any better and bigger, so it's time to pick him. These, I would say, are perfect size. They're going to be nice and tender. You can feel that they're tender. See this little bulbous one here? That's just really not even worth messing with. I'd give that to uh, the dogs or something, let them have it. I got some real big ones here that shouldn't be here. Unfortunately, we let them go. So again, don't be too rough with your plants. You don't want to knock off, you know, blossoms that are just about to form a bean. Oh, here's some giant ones up here. Either we missed these last time or we just let this go a little too far. So I'll show you here. These are some of the most prolific plants you'll have. You can see these great big bad boys. They're probably going to be a little tough. We'll let them dry out, save them for seed. Now here at the end, I'll let some form at the top and I'll just let them go ahead and get real big and I'll save those back for seeds, for seed saving. Some of these are starting to get big. We shouldn't have let them go this far. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you about picking beans and the importance of being gentle on your plants right here. I got two big ones and a little bitty one who's still growing, so I want to be gentle, let that little bitty one keep growing. Now this is for gardeners and for homesteaders. Obviously, commercial production, you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't grow this type of bean for commercial production. It's too hard to pick. Um, but these are wonderful for homesteading. So I want you to consider growing these purple pole beans. I'll give you a little caution. They're going to turn green when you cook them, <laughs> but they still contain all the extra phytonutrients that those dark, um, purple vegetables carry. So I want you to try them out, give them a try. That's all I got for right now. See you later.